All right, what's up everyone and welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today I am showing you my max effort lower body workout. And basically, if you do not keep track, I have it's a 6 week wave with 4 weeks of progression built in. So let me just explain that. Today is a 3 rep max day. I alternate between squat and deadlift movements. So one week will be a deadlift focused max effort week. Then the next will be a squat focused max effort workout. And I have one day or one week, sorry, I do a five rep max. Then the next week I do a three rep max. So those are kind of like my lower intensity weeks. Okay. And then two one rep max workouts. And then I repeat the cycle. So not only am I changing up the exercises, I'm also changing up the rep ranges. So I'm establishing one rep maxes, three rep maxes, and five rep maxes throughout all my movements. Now today I'm doing pause squats and I did 435 for three, which is pretty good for me considering I remember in the summer, maybe two, three months ago, I failed and wasn't even close to getting a 465 squat. But as I will explain in a future video, I was programming all sorts of wrong for that. So then I did some back down sets with 365. I did two sets of six. Realistically, I should have just done one set of as many as I could or some lower rep sets with more sets overall and lower rest periods, kind of like speed work, but not so much. So this went very well. The pauses are solid. The form is solid. I'm able to use my back. My lockout is good. My strength in the bottom is good. Everything is going well. I will have a 500 pound free squat very, very, very soon. So the main thing I like about good mornings is it stresses the upper back specifically when you use a safety squat bar, definitely gets more upper back and thoracic stress. Good mornings are great. I honestly try and do good, a form of good mornings every lower body workout. They are just great. It's like doing a deadlift, but less stressful because you can use less weight and you get the weights out of your hands. So there's less overall systemic stress on your system. Then I moved into some Zurcher shrugs. I didn't really do these more for the core. No, sorry, I did do them for the core. I'm not really doing these for traps. More so for some upper back, not wanting to get rounded over, and for some midsection, like the abdominals and the low back strength. Really, honestly, my traps seem to grow from anything. My traps are not a limiting factor in my physique or my strength so no reason to do those then i wanted to do some glute ham raises but i wanted to do some really high rep stuff so i call these other ring curls or ring glute ham raises and i like them a lot the main thing you have to do is make sure your glutes are fairly contracted throughout the movement and then pull with your heels and end up onto your toes this gives you a great great hamstring contraction and it's much better than standard leg curls give them a shot i did four sets of 20 here and then to finish off my workout i did some sandbag carries with 175 pounds just for some general conditioning i always like to end off my workouts with some sort of conditioning whether i film it or not i'm always doing it air bike sandbag carries tire flips etc etc So if you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments saying class is dismissed, mother.